Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man Jeezy's Kanji Study Streams. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N3 list. Uh, the way this works is I'll go over each of the vocabulary words and the kanji that make up each word. And if it's a new kanji, I'll go over the radicals that make up the kanji. Um, yeah, if you this is a writing practice. I will be writing down the kanji as I go and saying them out loud to myself to remember them. If you'd like to follow along, grab you some grid paper and head over to gshow.org. That's J-I-S-H-O dot O-R-G. They'll tell you how to write kanji, the stroke orders, and whatnot, as well as being a very good dictionary. It's just a very good dictionary. Uh, we don't have, I think we only have one new kanji today, uh, and the rest of these we've done before. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first word of the day is or to chase, to run after, to follow, to drive out, or to be best for time, with the kanji uh, that is the same name, of the same meaning, excuse me. Oh, drive out, chase out, run after, or follow. Oh, drive out, chase out, run after, or follow. Since we've already covered this kanji before, I will not be going over the radicals in it, but when we get to a new one, I definitely will. Oh, to drive out, chase out, run after, or follow. Oh. Oh. Drive out, chase out, drive out, or follow. Number two is just a home page. No kanji here. It's just literally home page, which is a home page or a website or page. Home page is a Home page. Home page is a home. Home page is a home page. Number three is an album. This one's already Englishized. It's just Arubamu. Arubamu is an album. Arubamu. Arubamu is an Arubamu is an Number four is our first new kanji and only new kanji for today. That's haku. To vomit, emit, express, or confess something. It's kind of a giving motion. Uh, the other way to pronounce this word is to, and it means spit, vomit, belch, or to confess. Radicals in this kanji are a mouth on the left side and the earth or ground on the right. So you're vomiting or spitting from your mouth onto the ground instead of somewhere else. Like if it was um, your mouth and someone else's ear, you might say it's talking or something like that. That's, by the way, not how talking is written in, in Japanese. I'm just giving you an example of how the radicals work in that way. So spitting onto the ground is vomit, haku, or haku. Mouth to the ground or pull. spit, vomit, belch, or confess something. Let's see, spit, vomit, belch. Money toll. Haku. Vomit, emit, express, or confess something. Number five is yol. To get drunk, to feel sick from the kanji of the same meaning, yol. Radicals in this kanji, I'm going to go over it because it's drunk. Drunk is an easy one. So it's sake on the left side here. This is sake. And on the right side, we have nine or ten. So if you have nine or ten sakes, you get drunk and feel sick. It can also mean to feel elated. Yol is to get drunk or sick. Get intoxicated. Yol. Oh, 
Bank. Another verb for getting drunk and intoxicated is yoparao, which is to pay a drunkness, which has pretty much the same meaning you're getting. Yoparachimashita, like it's it's you're already drunk is kind of the way I most often use it. Her used heard it used. This verb will do just the same. Yo, get drunk. Yo. Number five is Koksai Teki. Koksai is international, and Teki on the end of it is kind of, um, it's it's a suffix meaning like um, of that kind of thing. So Koksai Teki, Koksai is just international or dealing with several countries, and Teki is our suffix indicating that it is a type of thing. Koksai Teki, the international type of thing. Koksai Teki. Oksai teki. Oksai teki. Oksai teki. It's international kind of thing. Number seven is den ryoku. Den on the left side is electric or electrical. Ryoku on the right side is power. So den ryoku is literally electric power. Den ryoku. Den ryoku is electric power. Den ryoku is electric power. Is electric power. Then Ryoku. Electric. Then Ryoku is electric. Then Ryoku is electric power. Number eight is mukai. Mukairu, the herb we've already learned, which has the same meaning as this kanji, is a meeting, a greeting, or a welcome. Mukairu is to go out and meet someone. Mukai is the noun for the meeting, the greeting, or the welcome event. Mukai is a welcome or greeting. Mukai is a welcome or greeting. Mukai is welcome or Mukai is welcome or greet. Mukai is welcome or Number nine is tetsudai. Tetsudai is our verb for helping or uh, to assist. And tetsudai is the helper himself, the assistant, or the help that is given. This is another noun. Te on the left side is a hand, and tsudai is a transmission of that hand for help. Tetsudai is a helper or assistant or the help itself. Tetsudai. Assistance or the person giving that Tsudai. Tsudai. Help or assistance. Number ten is Fumi Kiri. Uh Fumu on the left side is to stomp on or stamp. Kiru on the right side is to cut. However, 
The kiru indicates on this in this way some line or barrier that you're crossing, and fumi indicates that you're stamping or stomping on that line. So a railway crossing, it means a railway crossing because the road is stamping over that railway crossing border. It can be the starting line as that, again, boundary that you cross or stamp on to start. Determination, meaning you're brave enough to step on this line or this um, kind of barrier and stepping it into the ring, literally in sports. Fumikiri is railway crossing. Determination. Determination. Or a starting line. A railroad crossing, determination, or a starting line. Fumi Kiri. The railroad crossing. Railroad crossing, starting line, determination. Stepping into the ring. Fumi Kiri. This is a ver or this is a noun, by the way. That wasn't obvious. It's the railroad crossing or the act of stepping in the ring. Fumiki. 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 Number eleven is a coupon. Uh, no kanji here. This one's pretty easy as well. Just coupon. Coupon. And finally, number 12 is a up. This is a lap like a lap on a pool or a lap time of a pool. This is not lap uh, of a, like a person's lap. I think that's the only lap in English that it does not mean. But up. Rap can also mean rap the music or plastic rap. They, they call all of it rap just like we do. Um, rap is a little funny because of the R versus L transition from Japanese to English that it's a little hard for most people to make. Drop is a lap, not of a person, or a lap of time. Let's go back to the top, make sure we have all these memorized for today. Our first word was to chase after, to run, or to follow with oru. Oru is to chase after, run, or follow. Oru. A website or a web page is a home page. Home. Page. Home page. Sugi wa an album, which is just an album. 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 Number next. I don't know the number. Haku to vomit, which is the mouth spitting out onto the ground with haku. To get drunk or to feel sick is yo. With our kanji for drunkenness, with sake is nine or ten. Oru, get drunk or intoxicated. International is kokusai teki, koku for country, by for between many, kokusai and the right side, meaning of the type in which it is international. Next, we have electric power, which is literally din ryoku. Literally electric, followed by power. Din ryoku. Power. A helper, assistant, or help is tetsudai. Te. For the hand. Tsudai, transmission of the hand. Or the help. Tetsudai is the act of helping the helper himself or the assistant. A meeting, a greeting, or welcome is a mukae. Mukaeru is to go out and meet or greet someone. Mukae is the meeting or greeting itself. A railroad crossing is a fumikiri. Fumu to stamp on. Kiri and cut. 
In this, well, in this sense, the cut is really just some boundary. A coupon is just a coupon. Coupon. And a lap of a pool or something like that is a rap. A rap music. Or uh, other raps, not laps. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's going to be it for me tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday and a good weekend. Domo, arigato gozaimashita. Jamata ne. Mata ashita. Peace out.